Hi, I wanted to discuss arthroscopic shoulder surgery. Uh, I've been in this business for a long time, and when I started in orthopedics, all shoulder surgery was done as an open procedure, meaning there's a cut, you open up the shoulder completely, and you look inside, you do the work you have to do directly. Uh, as I got further in my career, um, arthroscopic surgery became popular, and I've learned the techniques over the years. These days, the vast majority of rotator cuff surgery is done through an arthroscope. This means that instead of having a big open cut, you have small holes, a telescopic device is put in the joint, and you look around with a picture or view it on a TV screen. And then we have tools we put into the shoulder and we can manipulate the um, shoulder material watching our work through the scope. Now what this has done is it's changed uh, the procedure from the open painful procedure into a, an arthroscopic less painful procedure. And as the years have gone by, the techniques have improved, meaning that we have better visualization and better techniques for reattaching damaged material. So the typical patient with arthroscopic surgery will have removal of the bone spurs on the top of the shoulder and possibly a release of a inflamed or damaged biceps. And then the rotator cuff can be either cleaned up or repaired. And a breakthrough that's happened over these years has been better and better anchor devices which let us take the torn material, attach it to the bone firmly so it will heal to the bone and then become a functioning, painless material at the end. Now, this has changed the process from a very painful, long process to a slightly shorter and less painful process. And we think it gives us terrific reliability. Um, people who have had open surgery on one side and then have had arthroscopic surgery on the other side are delighted by the greatly improved function, less pain, faster recovery that they've gotten. Um, they're probably my biggest fans because they understand how far things have come.